Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. Uh, this morning we woke up to 13.2.1. Let's take it for a spin. So as you can see right now, um, I don't have the button to start driving on FSD. So to get the button to show up for you, you have to go to settings, autopilot, start FSD supervised from park. You turn that on, agree to the warning here and it automatically chases this brake confirmation. So when you press the start button and you hold it, when FSD turns on, it'll have you tap the brake to confirm. I wanna turn that off because I want it to be more like a robo taxi. You just have to agree to this warning as well. And we should be ready to go. Go back to the main screen. Now this start FSD button is showing up. I just have to put my seatbelt on and it should turn blue and we'll be ready to go. All right, I watched a bunch of videos on uh, 13.2.1 and uh, we're gonna start a little bit different here at this dead end and let's see how FSD gets out of this. So all I have to do is press and hold the start button. <laughs> FSD is on and it looks like you recognize that it's a dead end already and just turning me around. We went forward, now we're going in reverse. One more forward, we got plenty of room here. Oh man, this feels so cool. And that's it, just like that. We went from uh, parked at a dead end into being back on the road and just a few quick turns. This is amazing. This is gonna open up tons of possibilities. It's gonna be a lot more difficult to get this car stuck anywhere. The speed limit is 25. We're going about 20 and slowly working our way up to the speed limit. Now, uh, we are supposed to have the, uh, on this version, I believe we're supposed to have the speed profile. There we go, the speed profile turned on. So I think you have to actually go above 25 miles an hour. There's no speed speed profiles below 25 miles an hour. So we're on standard profile here. We're just gonna make a left and go through our regular complex to test speed bumps on this first ride. And then we'll head over to ShopRite and see how well it parks over there. So far the ride's very smooth. The car is very confident. It's taking turns very well. We're coming up to our first speed bump here. It does see the speed bump. I saw it visualize. It's slowing down for it. Fantastic, we got a stop sign here. Great stop sign. All right. Now we're going downhill. We're gonna be hitting one more speed bump here. Hopefully it does see it. All right, it does see it's slowing down well in advance. Perfect execution on that speed bump. All right, this is amazing. Good stop here at the stop sign. Last version took this turn real wide. It's being very cautious here. Took a few extra seconds. All right, yeah, this time the turns are not wide anymore. It stays within the lane because uh, on the previous version, 12.5.6.4, it was taken a little bit too wide. Another speed bump, perfect execution. This one slows down even better to five miles an hour. I didn't even feel the bump going around, going over it. Excellent. Now let's see how it handles this speed limit. There's a bit of a slowdown here. Probably picking up that stop sign on the ground maybe. Not sure. All right, let's see here. We're just gonna remove this pin. We are ready to go to shop, right? Excellent execution on speed bumps. It is picking this road up as 15 miles an hour. Uh, it should be 25. So I think that's just map data issues. We'll see how it does here on the right. Oh, why is the max speed? Yeah, max speed was set to 17. That's probably why. It was uh, going so slow. All right, we're switching on to this route here and it's still recognizing the speed limit is 15. And max speed is set to 30, 25. I'm gonna bump that up to 20, 35. And it is increasing the speed. So 
and doesn't want to go faster. It should be going 35 here. This, the map data is incorrect. The speed limit is definitely not 15 here. Now I'm just going to bump this up. There should be like, you know, 38, 40 on this road. All right, we're coming to our first set of railroad tracks. Let's see how it does here. Doesn't recognize railroad tracks so far. Um, I, all right, didn't do a good job slowing down for those railroad tracks. I'm not sure if it didn't see them or what. In previous versions, it would slow down to about 26 or 28 miles an hour. This time it was like just traveling straight through. No, no slow down, barely anything, only a couple of miles. I was stuck behind a bunch of FedEx trucks. Looks like they're all pulling out of the depot at the same time. I do want to give a shout out to another YouTuber in St. Louis. Uh, it's Craig from Total Tesla. Please give him a like and follow him and uh, check out his videos. He does a good job covering that area. And I want to thank him for giving my channel a shout out. I did gain a few subscribers thanks to him. And we're both stuck under a thousand. So, you know, definitely subscribe to the videos. It helps us get to that thousand mark. And then we can stop asking you to ever subscribe. Because at that point, the number of subscribers doesn't really matter. It's all about people watching your videos. So thank you for your help. We appreciate you watching. All right, we're coming up to our traffic light. There is right on red here. So we should be just pulling up to the front and taking a right turn if there's nobody coming from the left. So let's see how well it handles this entrance onto Route 22 here. Oh, it looks like we got green. We should just be cruising through. That was very well executed. No hesitation whatsoever. We're pre-staging to the left lane for our exit already, which is amazing. That's what we're looking for. doing 61 and a 55. This is probably one of the more aggressive speeds that it has picked for this road before. Usually it stays in like 58, but there we go. It's slowing down for the car in front of us a little bit. And we're going with the flow of traffic. I'm not sure why this person is driving 51. Very strange, but they're speeding up now. All right, we should be taking our exit here to the left. Great execution, very smooth transition. The sergeant is definitely very smooth in all its acceleration, stopping at stop signs, transitions between lanes, very human-like behavior for sure. And I haven't seen any hesitation on anything executed so far, which gives me a lot of confidence in this version. All right, we should be staying to the right here in the traffic light. And we got green. Stay vigilant out there with this version though. I did see some videos where people have, uh, you know, run through red lights and things like that. So there's definitely, you know, the version is not perfect for sure. So just stay vigilant and make sure that you're staying safe. All right, we're pulling it into the ShopRite parking lot. On the last version, we have gotten it to park here before. So we'll see how it does. Usually it pulls up on the previous version. It would pull up to the front door and then make a left and find a parking spot and attempt to park. In this version, it should be going park into parking, so we'll see how it handles this. Right, we got a gentleman here cleaning. Okay, it looks like it's turning in early. We have an oncoming car, just waiting for it. All right, looks like we are looking for a parking spot here. All right, uh, are we stuck? We're not stuck. Okay, not sure what's going on here. The cars tried to park, but that there's a car in its way. 
there are no parking spots to reverse into. So I think we are just stuck here. Interesting. All right, well, this is not a great start. I'm just gonna... All right, come on, you got this. All right, it doesn't wanna do anything. So I'm gonna take over here. Wow, okay, that's not what I was expecting. I was hoping it would do a better job parking, but uh, it failed our first parking attempt. Let's uh, have it go back home and let's see how it handles the exit here because uh, the previous version has always gone on the wrong side of the road to get out to the highway here. Well, this guy's not paying attention at all. He's driving right into us. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Yes, this has been fixed. It actually moves over to the right and stays in the correct lane to come out from the stop sign here. Awesome. Great slowdown, we do have our, wow, that was such a short stop. It literally just slowed down, saw that there was no cars, and then started moving right away. It got into our on-ramp lane, and then switched over to the middle lane. Such awesome execution. I'm actually gonna go to Nice slow down for yellow. Very comfortable. Wow, really well executed. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna test out one more parking, parking area. We had a lot of problems when I did my uh, parking torture test on the previous version. We had a lot of problems parking in this parking lot. So I'm gonna see how it handles it this time. This is just like a local restaurant in the area and it's closed at this time. So there's not gonna be any cars there or anything. And, uh, we'll see how V13.2.1 does. We're coming up to the entrance here. Last time we came in really fast. This time it's coming in very measured. Great speed. I'm pulling into the parking lot here. There's plenty of open spots anywhere. And it's shooting and shot at parking. It's doing really well. Keep going, you got this. All right, great redemption. Destination is achieved. Great redemption for FSD. It did fail to park at ShopRite, but on this second parking attempt, it did really well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified when the next video comes out. Take care of yourself, your family, and have a great day.